Well, what's going on guys it's Jeezy. welcome to my channel so in this video we will uh, going to check out the new chess piece for inferno 3 that came out for demon hunter earling wheeling plane vengeance now summon your inner demon to attack nearby enemies but it no longer passively increase your movement speed Meaning when there were going to be enemies around you, you, you will not get increased movement speed. Also, as I have changed my chest piece, it actually made my knockback shot builds quite useless. So this indicates that we have to go with something else here. So give me a second yeah it leaves me option for century most of the them are uh, for century actually and i don't have the new helmet yet otherwise i would have tested that so what we are going to do is just give it a go like this without going to change something else but this seems to be going to work with century somehow because this just doesn't have many options with the helm there but we can use another one here vision of the lost let's see if that actually going to work with that uh no i don't think so oh it does actually all right this is what it looks like Oh, we have a shadow outside and it's a buff. We, we, we had our bottle hope activated with this and no sound there. All right. Cooldown is actually quite low. It lasts for six seconds, but beneficial duration doesn't extend its duration. It's locked. I actually can tell you that. All right, cooldown is 12 seconds and it is going to last for 6 seconds. It says 12 seconds is the cooldown. Weird. I'm seeing 9 second cooldown. Oh, okay, because I have a lot of cooldown as well, and also the awaken slot itself is giving me 10%, 10% from here as well. What's my cooldown here? Let me double check that. I have 13% cooldown, 3% from bottle hope, 10% from offs, uh, offset items or the set items, and 10% from here. So 23% cooldown. But the buff duration doesn't work. So now let's go and check out its damage. What we are going to do is check inside the Elder Rift. But I can tell you, not having the control over vengeance is going to actually make you weaker. And another thing that I can tell you that it has health on it. So if you guys are wondering, Jeezy, would this be a good option for battleground? I can tell you he is going to die instantly in battleground. So nope, this is not like the strafe shadows. I can definitely tell you that. All right, there we go. All right, he seems to be lasting longer because he got kills. So vision of the last actually worked. Damage is quite shitty, I can tell you. Is it me or each kill give him more? Duration, I am not sure. You deserve nothing less. Yeah, kills were resetting his timer somehow. Does that mean I can activate another or not? Now the vision of the lost didn't worked. 
this is Challenger. You guys might be thinking this is actually really awesome. Oh well. Let's check it out against a boss, shall we? My daring swing just killed the entire guy's thing. Alright, let's check out the damage. Oh, okay. That was my voice spark as well. We have to go to the training ground to see the damage output there with this. And also we will be able to tell if Bloody Reach Legendary Gem is actually working with the range as well. So... Alright, this is the damage output of Vengeance itself. 1 million. That's it. And gem was 200 something. 300? It's keep going up. Yeah, because Seeping Ball has been triggered as well. But 1 million with this new chess piece. But let's go. One minute. I, I want to try something else as well. Nope, it doesn't take attack speed buff from the uh, I mean from the knockback shot or any attack speed. So now let's go and let's see how much I can do with the actual vengeance itself, the damage. Keep in mind, I am not on 100% attack speed right now. And I have already exceeded 1 million. This was without the 100% attack speed because I did not trigger my knockback shot there. Or maybe I didn't have this equipped. Now let me double check. I, I, I want to double check if knockback shot increases the attack speed as well, so yeah. No, it doesn't look like it, but we can tell from the damage output. It did 2 million this time. Or oh, I was unable to reset it. Ah. <sighs> And the damage hasn't registered. Th this is some shit there. <laughs> nope. All right, let's let's just check with the wind shear now. All right, let's go with full attack speed. Let's see how long, oh, I mean how much I can deal damage. Breakdown, 1.2 million this time. So even with 100% attack speed it says I did 1.2 million so it is actually broken. It should have been higher definitely but uh, training dummy doesn't seem to be registering or maybe it switched its target. I don't know, maybe. This is so messed up. And he just stopped by himself. I do not know why. Sudden leg just happened there. And it's 1.1 million. So yeah, it's, it's quite useless. Uh, 
I think it's only going to be good for maybe open world. I might give it a try later, but for now I think this chest doesn't serve any good purpose for you. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, take care, have fun, and do let me know what do you guys think about this chest. Until then, take care, have fun, and bye guys.